Hello there, Ali here from Logo Diffusion, and today I'm showing you guys the new features uh, we're releasing with uh, Logo Diffusion V2. And right from the get go, you can see that V2 is a lot uh, simpler. On the left here, you only have one slider and a couple of options to make it a lot easier for you to get the results that you want and to also get it in a higher resolution. So now you have all the logos located in here. If you click on this thumbnail, you can see the different logo designs. We've added uh, three logo uh, design styles. You've got line art, logo type, and monogram. We've also added 2D art styles that are not uh, logo specific, but I can help you uh, create different art styles for your projects. So to get started, let's test uh, the line art logo style. So once you click on it, you immediately get uh, the settings. You can also access the settings of any style you're selecting by clicking on the settings icon. You can see here, each style has its own set of settings. Uh, so for line art, we can choose between uh, bold or thin for the logo line thickness. I'm gonna keep it at bold. Detail level, you can either, either ignore it, put it on randomize, or uh, select it manually. So I wanna keep it minimalist. And for the background color, um, gonna make it available here. And I'm gonna choose from one of the colors here. I wanna make it uh, white. And I wanna keep the line uh, black just for simplicity. And let's say I wanna do uh, tiger face and let's hit generate. And as you can see, we got these results. Now we can try the same uh, prompt with different styles. So let's say you want to try with a pictorial style. You can see you're going to get the pictorial uh, options here. So let's say we want a modern, uh, minimalist. And this extra feature is if you're doing a character, a person, or an animal. So portrait if you want to focus on the head. And uh, full body if you want to uh, get a full body. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to keep it on. Uh, portrait and for background color I'm not gonna specify it so we're gonna get uh, uh, random results and uh, let's click generate and these are the results we got uh, with pictorial uh, now I'm gonna try this on all of the nine uh, styles so let's move on to mascot and with mascot uh, we get to check we get to choose the uh, logo outline stroke so let's do thick and then here, go with the modern uh, style. And let's keep it minimalist, uh, portrait. And uh, what we can also do is from here, specify colors. We can uh, activate it. And then let's do a color combination. Let's do like a beige and uh, black color combination. And uh, let's hit general. All right, and now you can see that uh, the results followed our prompt and the color specifications uh, moving on uh, we can go to badge so let's uh, let's do thin this time and let's do a crest uh, I want to do something uh, different so let's do like a vintage detailed and let's change the color combination to be beige and violet and then let's hit generate and again, uh, we got these results. And you can see Logo Diffusion tried to fit a tiger face into a crest uh, in all these uh, examples. It also followed uh, the color specifications as well. So moving on, uh, we can go to cartoon. Uh, now here, uh, let's pick a thick outline stroke. And then here, let's do a cute style. Uh, let's do minimalist and let's do portrait. And let's change the color palette to be orange and white and then let's hit generate and we got a few logos with this cartoon style uh, following a prompt and color palette as well now moving on to flat emoji uh, you can pick between three quarters of view and front view I'm gonna stick to front view and detailed and I'm gonna keep the same uh, colors we use for uh, cartoon now we got these results that look more like a flat design or emoji design and they also follow the prompt and uh, colors uh, moving on to abstract i'm not gonna choose uh, line thickness i'm just gonna give it greater freedom here um, 
for the shape here we got organic or geometric i'm gonna try geometric and minimalist and then i'm gonna turn off uh, the palette and click generate and we got these uh, abstract uh, logos that resemble a tiger face and since we didn't specify a color palette it just gave us uh, random colors now the remaining two styles are logotype and monogram uh, so uh, with them we're not going to be doing a tiger face uh, so we're just going to do the word tiger uh, so for here logotype uh, style i'm going to go with a uh, vintage style um, and here you can you can pick if you want to swoosh or no swoosh these are not always accurate since logo type as you can see here is still in beta as well as monogram so i would expect it to give you good results 50 percent of the time so going back here let's pick a swoosh and here if you want it level or slanted uh, let's try slanted and uh, let's do minimalist and then for the font let's do uh, serif bold um, cursive and then the way you write a prompt for the logo type is uh, you need to do a logo type of the word and then you put it in between quotes so tiger and as you can see here the word tiger is now in quotes uh, which would help the AI understand that we're targeting this one word now let's click generate and these are the results we got as you can see uh, it's trying to uh, do a logo with like a tiger face and the, the and the text tiger, but it's not super clean. Maybe with a little bit of Illustrator, you can clean it up and get it to work. Uh, I would use uh, the logo type uh, style more for uh, ideation rather than getting uh, a final level logo uh, done. Uh, but you can see, for example, here tried to do the word tiger twice. Uh, this one it just threw in a a logo mark of a tiger as well and it added this tier uh, word here so you know here it's it did a pretty good job maybe a little bit of cleanup in, in illustrator and you got uh, a nice handwritten style uh, logo type but yeah uh, logo type is still still needs a little bit more uh, work well, this is why we're releasing it as a beta so you can try it and see what you can do with it and the same goes for the monogram style so if you click on monogram uh, let's say we want to do modern uh, curved lines minimalist organic bold uh, uppercase and let's not specify a font and let's try something like a monogram of the letter let's do p and uh, let's hit generate and these are the results we got as you can see it's not as good as the other styles we got some kind of like weird results like this it almost looks like a p but it's a little bit weird uh this one gave us like a p inside of a d uh, uh this one did a d inside of a p and uh this one is actually uh decent maybe with a little bit of editing it can be more usable gave us an extra uh, p over here and this is pretty much how you can use uh, the logo styles in Logo Diffusion V2.